Hello YouTube. I wanted to do my own video on bottled water here in my area to test it to see what's good to drink and what's not good to drink. Um, I've got a little bottle here I got off Amazon to test the pH level of the water. And I will show y'all, let's see if I can get it to zoom in. This camera is the worst. So, let's see. As you can see, these are the levels. Orange 4.0 is the worst. Lord, I can't get the bottle straight. All the way up to purple, which is 10.0, which is the best. I'm having to hold the bottle at an odd angle because it's a piece of junk. Actually, it's my camera. But anyway, I wanted to test the water and see if it's good to drink. I know there's a lot of videos out there, but I wanted to check my own area and see if it comes up the same. Um, acidic water is not a good source for minerals, where alkaline water is. It's even said if your water is acidic, you can absorb toxins like mercury from it. So that right there in itself is scary. So um, that's why I wanted to, you know, just do a quick video. This last one here is out of the, it's a faucet drinking water that you can get out of tap water. I'm in Louisiana. So there's no telling what's in our water, but um, anyway, I wanted to test it. It says two to three drops of this right here, and that will be plenty. Which uh, also here's here's a chart which may help telling you the colors and what actually is good and bad. If it's seven, it's neutral. Anything above that of course is alkaline based anything below that is acidic so this is not the same exact fluid that I bought as you see there it says four drops but the one I have says two to three so anyway if you've been wondering how your water is maybe this will give you some kind of idea of how it is I'm going to I don't have anybody to hold my camera so I'm going to kind of zoom in on them hopefully you can see it if not, it's going to be a wasted video. But anyway, let's get started. The first one here is purified drinking water. And I got it from Target. So let's see what it does. Lord, I shot way too much in there. But as you can see, it's orange. I may have to retest that one just to see. But the next one is Sam's drinking water that, of course, you can get from Walmart. Actually, it's a little better than Target's water. Took a second to change. Um, huh. Well, that surprises me because I get Sam's water sometimes. Let me get my little chart here and see. That's actually about a 7. So it's actually neutral for Sam's purified drinking water. Okay. My lighting is not the best. But when you live in an apartment, you know, you beggars can't be chooser. Choosers. Okay, this is Ozarka, I believe is how you say it. It says made in Texas. I actually got it from Target. And you gotta give it a second to actually do its work. And but it's still not looking that great. It's looking like it is about a 5.0, which is very bad. And this first one I did is looking like a 4 point, point of 4 and a 5. It's really not that great either. Okay, Aquafina. This stuff doesn't drip like it's supposed to. Aquafina is more like a 5 so far, which sucks. Pretty much all the water that I have in my area must suck. Um, okay, then we got Super One, which is kind of like Brookshire's water. It's chart. It's actually bad, like 5.0. 
Dasani. We'll try it. Well, it's not that great either. Makes me think I'm gonna start buying Sam's water so far. Um Dasani is it's actually turning a little greener, but it's like a 5.0, which is not good. Okay, next is Nestle's, which you can pretty much get anywhere. Man, that's a dripper. Wow. Nestle's, I've seen bad reviews of it on other videos, and it's actually looking pretty good. And I drink a lot of that, so that makes me feel a little better. Nestle's Pure Life. It's looking, it's about a neutral, which is a lot better than most of these others here so that's not bad I'm definitely gonna stick to that water so far okay this next one I've never drank it's called core I'm gonna get her on this side it actually says perfect pH water so we'll see that and it says with electrolytes and minerals so so far yep that's looking good that's about like a eight to a nine right there but that stuff's expensive but if you're looking for good water I won't be throwing that out I'm gonna drink it probably the first time I drank good water in a while so that's pretty good and then these last three smart water which you can get pretty much anywhere I got it from Target it says vapor distilled water and electrolytes for taste And, well, it's not as bad as some of the others. So far, it's like a 6, according to the chart, 6.6, .6, which is not bad. It's still getting a little darker, so now let's try this life water. Okay, the life water says purified water, pH balance, electrolytes for taste, which it's actually about the same as the smart water which is about 7.0 and let's do the drinking water out of the faucet tap water wow okay tap water doesn't have a good taste but as you can see it's pretty much the best one up here which is sorry which is hard to believe um, I might have to get me a filter. I feel better if I have a filter on my tap water and start drinking that. That's just crazy. Let's see if I can zoom in a little closer on these. Okay, that far right one's tap water. Let me get my little chart here. See if it kind of helps you. This is not really the type of video I'm used to doing. Um, tap water, it's really a dark blue, so it's about a 9.0 for the drinking water out of the faucet. The life water is more of a dark greenish, which is supposed to be pH perfect pH balance, which is it's neutral, it's 7.0. The smart water is kind of a greenish, which it's about a 6.6 .6 to a 7. The core perfect pH balance, it's about a 9.0, which is good. Nestle's Pure Life. It's about I'm trying to look at my chart. It's about a seven, which is neutral. Dasani, which sucks. I don't drink that very often, but I have in the past. That's more like a 5.0, which is very acidic. And the Sam's drinking water, very acidic. It's about a five to a four it's not quite a four but it's pretty bad aquafina which i've drank on occasion it's about a 5.0 ozarka 5.0 sam's purified drinking water it's pretty good it's let's see that's more of a bluish green it's at least neutral maybe a little higher than neutral so that's pretty good and then that good old purified water from target huh that's pretty sucky. It's about a 5 acidic. So your alkaline based waters that are better for you are the Sam's. 
slowly panning the camera. Thought I missed one. I'm pretty bad off. The Nestle's alkaline based core, perfect pH. It's pretty good. Your Smart Water, which is okay, and the Life Water, which is close to the same, but actually the drinking water is the best of all of these. So anyway, I, maybe you should do a test in your area so we can see what your drinking water is like. Um, please like, subscribe, and comment. I would appreciate it. It always helps YouTubers, you know, when you do that, the more subscribers, the better, the more views, the better. And I really appreciate y'all watching this video. Sorry if it's grainy. My lighting is good in this apartment in certain areas, but there's nowhere to do this. This is above the fireplace, so I appreciate y'all watching. That's all for now.